Russell wants to take out interest-only loans to finance the installation of solar panels on his roof. He can take out a personal loan and pay 5% annual interest. Another option is a home equity line of credit, H-E-L-O-C, HELOC, I guess, which would cost him 4.25% in annual interest. So clearly, because the home equity line of credit has lower interest rate, if Russell is rational, he'd want to take out as much of the loan on the home equity line of credit and pay lower interest. But anyway, let's see what they're going to ask us. Write an equation representing the amounts Russell might borrow using a personal loan. So let's say this capital P is the amount that he's going to borrow using a personal loan, and the capital H is the amount he's going to borrow with a home equity line of credit if he aims to pay exactly $2,000 in interest each year. So let's think about how much interest will he pay on his personal loan, on the amount that is he takes out as a personal loan. Well, he's going to, take out, he's going to pay 5% on the personal loan, so that's 0.05. And he's, going to multiply, that's five, and he's going to multiply that times the amount of the personal loan. So that's capital P. So 0.05P, this right over here, this is the total amount of interest he'll pay on the amount that he takes out as a personal loan. Now, how much will he pay on the amount that he takes out as a home equity line of credit? Well, there he's paying 4.25%, or 0.0425. And we're going to multiply 4.25% times the amount he takes as a home equity line of credit. So this sum right over here is going to be the total interest he's going to pay on an annual basis. This is the interest due to the personal loan. This is the interest due to the home equity line of credit. We're assuming that he's taking out some type of combination of personal loan. Some of the amount is going to be a personal loan. Some of the amount is going to be a home equity line of credit. And then his total interest, his total interest has got to be, he wants to pay exactly $2,000. So I'll put an equal sign there. He wants to pay exactly $2,000. So that makes me feel this, this seems like a good equation to represent the amounts Russell might. This is, a, this, is, this is the amounts he might borrow if he wants to pay exactly 2,000 in interest each year. This seems reasonable. Now they say if Russell needs $45,000 for the installation and can borrow a maximum of 25,000 using a home equity line of credit, which he'd want to max out in this situation because it has a lower interest rate, will he be able to stay within his desired total annual interest payment? So let me get my little scratch pad out for the second part of this problem. So they're telling us, they're telling us that the total, the total that the, the total of the personal loan and the home equity line of credit is going to be equal to forty-five thousand dollars. Is going to be equal to forty-five thousand dollars. That's how much he needs, and he can borrow a maximum of twenty-five thousand using a home equity line of credit, and he'll want to do the whole thing because it has a lower interest rate. So home equity line of credit is 25,000. Or we can write that the personal loan plus the $25,000 home equity line of credit is going to be equal to $45,000. 45,000. Subtract 25,000 from both sides. You of course get the amount that he would the balance that he would have to take out a personal loan on is $20,000. Now, will his interest payment stay will will he be able to meet will he be able to stay within his desired total annual interest payment? So let's think about it. We already figured out the total interest he's going to pay. He's going to pay, actually let me write this. He's going to pay 5% on his personal loan, on the amount that he takes out as a personal loan, and then he's going to pay 0 0.0425 or 4.25% on the amount that's a home equity loan. And that combined has to be, his target is to be $2,000 in interest each year. Now, they, now this, this was before they said pay exactly $2,000. So that's why we had an equal sign. Now they're saying, will he be able to stay within his desired total annual interest payment? So really, we're OK in the second situation if it's less than or equal to his target. So let's write this down. The interest that he's going to pay on the personal, on the, on the personal, loan is going to be 0 0.05 times P, which is 20,000. And to that, we're going to have the interest that he pays on the home equity line of credit for 0 0.0425 times 25,000. And this needs to be less than or equal to less than or equal to 2,000. Let's see if that is the case. I'll get the calculator out just to save some time. So let's see. If I have 
0 0.05 times 20,000, two, three, 20,000, plus 0 0.0425 times 25,000, one, two, three, what do I get? I get a little bit over $2,000. I get $2,062.50. So this is going to be, all of this business is $2,062.50, which is not less than or equal to $2,000. So he's not going to be able to pull it off, or he's, he's not going to be able to stay under his desired annual interest. So let's go back to the exercise. Will Russell be able to pull it off? No.